Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NACE Call of Duty Playoffs. This is your quarterfinals between your St. Clair Saints and West Virginia University. My name is Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Danner, is going to be bringing you the action, and what a fantastic way here for the Saints to start things off on hard point as Cootie, within seconds of the game starting, finding a money double kill with that grenade, really opening the door here for Saints to get moving on. Onto that hard point, get some points on the board nice and quick. Gets themselves in the position as well to be able to hold it. Sure, they lost a few in the process, but it does not matter. They're able to keep on keeping on here. Of course, your Saints in this NACE playoffs. Currently, this are labeled as the second seed of, of this entire playoffs. Meanwhile, West Virginia University come off a 3-1 victory, labeled as the seventh seed. So, definitely West Virginia underdogs in this one but i tell you what it probably cannot be any worse than the match we saw in the round of 16 am i right everybody but going on with this action next hard point now underway we do see Rupert already there ready and collecting onto that point but it is not going to be for long a couple reinforcements flank actually coming up from sea wads as well may not even be necessary actually as an absolute zerg rush to the point allows for the saints to just clobber west virginia university in very very quick fashion one after another it seems like west virginia ends up getting taken down but some a good little turnaround here for WVU, Syro as well, getting themselves on the board. Crib as well. Vitaly having themselves a very, very hard time in this one. And I thought, I thought Vitaly was supposed to be playing Rocket League, but I could be thinking of just the wrong person in this instance here. But Crib with a nice double, or not double, but a nice nade rather, on to Enslea, trying to open up that point, but with only 10 seconds really left on to this hard point. I cannot see this one going very far for them. Going to opt to try and move to the next point. Crib is going to be able to secure the one, but as the Saints start to rotate towards this new point, it could be troublesome. It is only Crib left last one towards that site. The Saints do manage to take care of of the jungle for just the moment's time. WVU going to be finding themselves one. They actually find three in very, very quick succession. Get themselves on the point. Get themselves into the double digits and start collecting. Saints looking to get the reinforcements on, and Vitaly with a good angle does manage to mow down three of them, but Nacho is still here. Finds one, finds Vitaly as well, opens the point, not able to collect right now, but at least stopping both teams from getting any points at all. 81 to 20 currently here as we fight for hard point number three. Ripper and Cootie going to get themselves on the board as well. Vitaly, the only one there from West Virginia to try and challenge. WVU from far away going to try and make their rotate on over. The hard point contested for the last little bit of scrap time. And it is going to be West Virginia going to pick up the last point or two. But now all the attention has gone down towards the southwest here. Here we do see Rupert diving on through, immediately opening up the point as there was only the one member of West Virginia there at the time. But now, the West Virginia reinforcements have arrived. WVU Esports takes care of the first one. But the flanks and the angles coming out here from the Saints might just be a little bit too much to deal with. We have CY's going to be taking care of the point itself, collecting all the points, making it into the triple digits as of this moment. Good little setup from Enslea finds the one, finds the second with ease. Can you find yourself a triple? You absolutely can, Enslea! But it is going to be finished off there. Syro with a buzzkill. Buzzkill or not, though, it still means there's points just being collected on the board here. More and more here for the Saints. Basically, from start to finish, picked up. Syro going to find themselves a nice little double. Just charging on through the middle as they try to rotate towards the northeast. Where we do see Vitaly already in position to start gathering. Saints are going to have to trot all the way across the map. They get themselves set up, but they do start things off the right way. They take care of WVU, take care of Crib as well. Vitaly is going to end up falling. That was the last one on point. Syro is there. Gets picked up as well. Just one after another. The Saints are taking care of their person. Siwa is going to find themselves a double from the point. Eventually going to be moved off the site here. Never mind, actually hops right back on a little bit damaged, but not too worse for wear. So hanging on tight and able to take care of Syro. Looking for the second one, all stunned up, however. But that's where the reinforcements of the Saints is coming in clutch. Might have got stunned up top. Akuti swings down low and stops the 
reinforcements from making it to the point. Another situation where Saints are going to gobble up most of the time on that hard point. WVU did manage to get at least a little bit, and they do get a couple of eliminations going towards his next hard point, which is actually right on the doorstep of the last one as well. So Saints actually don't have to move too far, and these gunfights that they're getting into are just absolutely clutching up here. Ruper with the triple opens up the sight, and now Saints are in position to lock this thing down. Cootie's going to be able to take them down off to the south. Ruper off to the north. He's going to at least trade one for one, but, but there's still saints all over the place. <laughs> 30 seconds still on this hard point, but Siwaz is still managing to sit pretty here right behind this countertop. Dodging nades has a trophy system for backup as well. Just collecting more and more points here for the saints. 200 has been passed. Cootie finds themselves a double. And 212 OKC wads from the point itself finding a double. Just playing this like it's gears with the way they're using co cover. Just fantastic job. Of course, Saints are not going to be able to win off of this point. They're going to have to go down south here. And they clean it up immediately after the fact as well. Seawads, 11 kill streak here in this game from playing objective. You do not see this like ever. Just a fantastic performance and in classic Mr. Danner's fashion. I'm sorry, Seawads, but uh, streak over. I'm sorry. But... Who's not sorry here is Cootie whipping out the pistol and almost getting the elimination anyway as the Saints continue to push towards that point. But actually a little bit of a stalemate here. West Virginia knowing that if Saints get on this thing one more time, that is probably Curtains. Five points away from the Saints taking game number one. Rupert and Cootie going to be the first ones there, but they are having to deal with three. Bring the missile, and Seawads is going to be able to take care of a tally, but there's still no Saints reinforcements on the point at the time. West Virginia University doing a good job of collecting majority of the points on that hard point. But now as we see the rotation, the Saints just did such a good job up into the north or northwest. rather. Immediately hopping on. Sure, you're going to be able to contest, but you're one versus three. And I don't care how good you are. Your cursor can only be in one place at one time. And St. Clair Saints is going to take game one in a rather dominating fashion. Cootie going to find themselves the final kill as well. Just an absolute insane game for majority of the Saints, or pretty much all the Saints here in this one. Pretty close to 20 eliminations for everybody. Seawise with them may not have had 20 eliminations, but they stayed alive so much in this game. That was absolutely crazy to see. But of course, with classic Call of Duty fashion, it does mean we have a little bit of lobby hop in the do. So we'll get right back with Search and Destroy right after this.
All right, off we go. Game number two here of this NACE Call of Duty Varsity Premier Quarterfinals. West Virginia University having a bit of a hard time up against the St. Clair Saints as of right now after that hard point. 250 to I believe it was 51 or so. Rather dominating win there for the Saints. But I'll tell you what, West Virginia, you did better than the folks on Wednesday. So... Take the small victories while you can. But as we get on to the swing of things here, Esley is going to get caught up here by Crib, but everybody else on the side of West Virginia just got smoked. Round one going over to the Saints. Ace final kills. He's Rupert regardless. Rifle, gotcha. Pistol, gotcha anyway. I know the pistol's not meant to be a long-range weapon. I do not care. Fantastically done. There from the Saints. All right, let's see if West Virginia has themselves a little bit of extra luck here on the attacking swing of things. WVU. Esports going to lead the charge towards that B site and are going to successfully plant this bomb and successfully find C wide. So actually, fantastic start here. And Slaya going to get taken down by Crib as well, which means there's only the two players left here for the side of the Saints. Ruper and everybody's going to end up falling, and it's all up to Cootie. It looks like are going to end up finding him. He does find the one, but could not find the second. So West Virginia on the attacking side. Find themselves a little bit of wiggle room and getting the job done. Tying this at one. Let's see here with the Saints back on the attacking side. Let's see how this one ends up going. Maybe West Virginia find themselves at one point on the board. Could be the start of a snowball of sorts. We'll have to see. I know this map isn't necessarily everybody's favorite, as you can just basically get needed out of nowhere. But, I mean, these players have these lineups so figured out at this point here that you can see the smoke kind of in the background. If any of the members of West Virginia or St. Clair dove onto the site immediately, they would have absolutely got clobbered. Rupert's going to take care of Vitaly. The bomb is now planted off on that A side. WVU finds one, looks for the second one. But Sacro's there for the backup. WVU is going to end up falling here. It's going to be Seawatch taking care of that one. Two on two, bomb is planted on A. Syro on the way over. Crib is slowly trying to make their way over. I imagine ready to try and tag team the site. Don't shrickle. Otherwise, they'll just get mowed down one after another. Bit of an awkward long-range engagement. West Virginia moves forward, but it is going to be absolutely cleaned up here. They pushed on forward, and the Saints catch them while they're climbing. St. Clair, 2-1. I like the attempt to have one go low, one go high, but the timing was just barely off for the side of West Virginia University. Again, I like the idea. So you can't have your cursor in both elevations at once. But when it was lined up the way it was, there's just that one split second necessary to eliminate the one and move to the other. And the Saints are absolutely able to clutch that one out. West Virginia on the attacking side here, going right back to that B site that did work out for them. But this time, there is three Saints on board, ready to go. And you have Enslea already making the move as well. Cootie going to be the first to fall, but C-Wise is also going to end up getting taken down here. Vitaly going to get taken down. No, not actually. It's going to be Crib here, taking care of Rupert with the one v or one-on-one. C-Wise, the last one remaining. And a nice little refrag there coming out from the side of West Virginia. Sure, you sacked your one teammate, but you got the follow-up. 2-2. Going into round five now. It was definitely a risky peek, considering you already had a little bit of damage and they were shooting the same way that you peeked, but the fundamentals were there and it does clean up this time by. No harm, no foul here for Crib and the rest of West Virginia University. And now back on the attacking side here, it seems to be a pattern. Attackers seem to be rather comfortable, at least between these two teams. 
with West Virginia University, oddly enough, liking B site, while Saints tend to like A. And it looks like they're going towards A for a second, but they actually do split off through the middle, and they absolutely catch West Virginia with their pants down as there was a split 2-2. Two -two, and they had to deal with three members immediately. And there is Enslea on the flank as well, just to harass any of these players trying to rotate up to the B site. WVU ready and waiting for Vitaly to get into position as well. Vitaly is going to get taken down, though, so it's just the lone member left. They are going to be evaporated here against the four members of St. Clair. And the Saints going to the B site, cashes in dividends, and they get the lead once again here in this game. Of course, while we're waiting for this next one to get on going here, of course, lots of nice action happening between the Saints Gaming CA 2 channel here with Call of Duty and then the main channel, Saints Gaming CA, currently also having nice Valorant happening at the exact same time. Oklahoma Christian University versus St. Clair in quarterfinals action as well. So be sure to keep staying tuned because postseason definitely upon us here and we're getting down to the... Uh, the top eight, the top four, and all the, the good stuff here. So we're going to see Rupert kind of get caught with no grenade. And Slaya, the savior, though. You do not normally get yourself out of that position if you're Rupert, but you're so happy you got Enslaya there. Gun in hand, trying to get up the escalator. Again, this B-side push here just seems to be the comfort pick for West Virginia University. Saints going to try and dive on through. Just win on gun skill alone, but not going to happen when you got a lockdown the way West Virginia University does. And that's going to be a 3-3 game. And then WVU getting credit of the final kill there. Just classic refrag once again. Maybe the respawn maps might not necessarily be West Virginia's cup of tea here versus the Saints, but I tell you what, they're holding their own very, very well here versus the Saints here on Search and Destroy. I can only imagine what happens once control rolls around, but we're still getting maybe a little bit ahead of ourselves here as we do see the Saints pushing on towards that A site pretty quickly. Finally going to come to a halt here. I think a lot of the members of the Saints actually got smoked up by uh, stun grenades. So gun WVU to at least slow them down for now. Cootie's got to be careful. Going to run directly into Crib, who is actually in a bit of a flanking position. Gets the elimination. Ensle is trying to chase them down. They want to get rid of them before they try to plant this bomb. Seawads is going to be able to get it, but now it's going to be Syro from the northern side going for the shots but it is not going to be good enough here to take care of the Saints. And now with the B site open, that is going to be Seawad's opportunity to get this thing planted, get yourself into a bit of a post plant here. And Slea doing exactly what he loves to do, looking for the longer angles, the longer flanks, and then finally coming back, trying to lock this down, using that escalator for cover. Seawad's up high, he's going to find Vitaly, so now it's just a matter of dealing with WVU, and each of the Saints are going to find themselves a quick pickup here to close this one out. 4-3, Saints favorite so far. At this rate, the Saints are barely going to take the W by one point, though, if they keep trading back and forth. Somebody's got to break this defensive drought. Yeah, let's see if the Saints can break the streak here. Trying to get to that B side, it looks like, as quick as possible. Rupert leading the charge towards it. Going to maybe try and catch one of these players. I mean, at this point, they have to know that B is probably the play for them, right? But opting to do the split 2-2 push as of right now. Meanwhile, the side of West Virginia, heavy towards that B side once again. But this time, it is going to be the Saints who start things off strong. Taking care of two immediately. Bomb still in the hands of Crib. Until that very, very moment, which means it's all up to Vitaly, who is basically on flank watch. That bomb is now completely covered. Has to 1v3 this in order to get it, and they had sights on him. Defensive loss streak has finally been broken after the Saints were able to really shut down early aggression and get themselves a quick double. Yeah, 
And 1v3s are hard. 1v3s, when they know exactly where you are, even harder. I do not blame Vitaly for going down in that instance in the slightest. The fact that they live so long in the first place, definitely saying a lot. But definitely kind of feeling it here for the side of West Virginia University. Um, Syro and Vitaly both looking for their first elimination here in this one. Love to see them grab one, kind of jumpstart their momentum. Even if the Saints do end up taking this one as they go into control, you know they have to be feeling it a little bit right now here. And Crib going down that quickly, the one who was leading the squad on eliminations, that one is going to hurt. WVU, the second, going down as well. Saints just blitzing the B point. Similar fashion to what we've been seeing WVU do this entire uh, search and destroy. Now the two on four. WVU have to somehow pull off a miracle clutch to make this work. Tally actually dives on through. There you go. It does manage to get the one. But it does get refragged pretty well quickly. And sure enough, Saints are going to end up cleaning that one up. And I'm going to give a quick apology as well to Vitaly and, Sar and Syro. Because it looks like that was actually a overlay bug. As I say, Vitaly got an elimination and still showed them at 0-1. So, yeah. That wasn't correct now, was it? But one thing that is you cannot deny the accuracy of in this one is Saints taking this in 6-3 fashion after a big trade um, attacking side wins. Finally, around round 5 or 6, able to break that streak and get the defensive side of win and then take it once again on tack. But of course, still not quite done yet. We've got to do a little bit more lo lobby hop make one more time. Control going to be right around the corner. If Saints take that one, that's a semifinals berth in very, very quick fashion here tonight. We'll have to see coming right up. All right, we're back at it. Game number three now. St. Clair Saints versus West Virginia University here in the NACE Call of Duty Varsity Premier Playoffs. Quarterfinals action might just be wrapping up here if the Saints can keep on the momentum that they are. Been absolutely dominant for the most part in this series. Game number one absolutely snowballed and ran away with a one similar to what we're seeing here in this first part of control saints on the attack immediately blitzing that b site getting two quicks or two quick ticks rather fast and sure enough b site has been taken down but 
on the transition over to the A site. Zyro is able to get two quick eliminations, but now again the Saints just managed to find themselves in the right position. It's just a matter of time if they can find themselves in gunfights, and sure enough, they're gonna start cleaning things up. See Watson Cootie gonna find two nice and quick. Going from Vitaly though to at least slow things down, but see Wad still play an objective right on the point themselves. And we've seen during hard point, normally you think of the the objective player as the one who just kind of sacks their life to get onto the point and start gathering uh, start gathering points but we've seen that even still Seawads does such a fantastic job of Bob and Weaving finding eliminations for themselves and somehow staying safe in a game where they're literally throwing grenades at you like every five seconds able to dodge everything and Saints win the attacking round here up really quickly on this first round of control. And I was talking about the series as a whole so far. Now, of course, West Virginia University, they're holding out a lot better than our opponents did on Wednesday, but still, you can just see how incredibly crazy the Saints are in comparison. During hard point, 250 to 51, Saints had pretty much full control out of that. During the search and destroy, however, a much, much closer battle. West Virginia, for the longest time, going back and forth with punches, a lot... Um, a lot more action in that one, but could not quite get it done. Six to three there. Now on the attacking side of this control round, Seawads again just managing to find the quickest of doubles. Eventually going to be taken care of for themselves, but right now the Saints are doing a fantastic job of just being able to find these angles, stop the West Virginia squad from getting themselves to the point at all. They might finally have an option to go towards B site, but you do see that Enslea, Rupert, they're all in a decent area where they just have to kind of move over ever so slightly, hop between the buildings of sorts, and you have access to either point. They might have pushed over a little bit too much, maybe going for a bit of a spawn camp style, do this Overwatch style, but not quite going to be able to hold it as they've kind of exposed themselves a little bit. Cootie, though, finds a one, a little bit of... Sharking here with Syro on the other side. Good grenade, though. It's going to allow Syro to jump on through. How did Syro not get that? How about the second? Okay, no. WVU does manage to close that up. I was going to say, that would have been absolutely nutty. But the crazier part about this entire series is this is the first time now that West Virginia has touched that control point in this attacking round. And they need it. They only have seven seconds on this clock. They need the full cap, but they're forced to move. There's a cruise missile that's going to push them right away. And they do get one more for their trouble. Fantastic use of streaks here by the Saints to force them away from the point. Because no matter what, you stay, you're dead, or you get off the point and you'll lose. There's, there's um, no happy ending on that one for the side of WVU. But we are one point away for a happy ending here for Saints Nation as our Saints COD team is one round away from finding themselves into the NACE varsity premier Call of Duty semifinals. Top four absolutely would be fantastic in its own right. Winner of Conestoga and Cumberland, I believe, are on the other side of the bracket here for them which are both teams that I've definitely seen the Saints have some tough battles with, specifically Cumberland. That would be an incredible one if we do get to see that later this week. But I'd love to see a Conestoga upset here for the Canadians out there. I'd love to see it. As we do see Crib, though, actually just going to completely evaporate and then Kamikaze themselves right off the side. But the job has been done. That is a site gone. Now it... All of the members from West Virginia, it's all hands on deck towards this B site. Otherwise, there is going to be trouble, and this match will be over. Vitaly gets caught with a pistol out in close range. Unlucky there for them. Seawads, quick cleanup. The respawns are coming on through, but they're not coming in quick enough here. Cootie, Rupert, they're both finding themselves some eliminations. Cootie's still on the site. Trying to look for the one. Some COD timing right there if I've ever seen it. But they still managed to get this. That is going to be one tick down on the board.